Pentagon the day before 9-1-1, Secretary of Defense Donald Rumsfeld declared war, not on foreign terrorists. The adversary is closer to home. It's the Pentagon bureaucracy. He said money wasted by the military poses a serious threat. In fact, it could be said that it's a matter of life and death. Rumsfeld promised change, but the next day, the world changed. And in the rush to fund the war on terrorism, the war on waste seems to have been forgotten. My 03 budget calls for more than $48 billion in new defense spending. More money for the Pentagon when its own auditors admit the military cannot account for 25% of what it already spends. According to some estimates, we cannot track $2.3 trillion in transactions. $2.3 trillion, with a T. That's $8,000 for every man, woman, and child in America. To understand how the Pentagon can lose track of trillions, consider the case of one military accountant who tried to find out what happened to a mere $300 million. We know it's gone, but we don't know what they spent it on. Jim Minnery, a former Marine turned whistleblower, is risking his job by speaking out for the first time about the millions he noticed were missing from one defense agency's balance sheets. Minnery tried to follow the money trail, even crisscrossing the country looking for records. The director looked at me and he says, why do you care about this stuff? <laughs> it took me aback, you know. It, my supervisor asked me why I care about doing a good job. So. He was reassigned and says officials then covered up the problem by just writing it off. they got to cover it up. That's where the corruption comes in. They've got to cover up the fact that they can't do the job. The Pentagon's inspector general partially substantiated several of Minnery's allegations, but could not prove officials tried to manipulate the financial statements. Twenty years ago, Pentagon employee Franklin C. Spinney made headlines exposing what he calls the accounting games. He's still there, and although he does not speak for the Pentagon, he believes the problem has gotten worse. Those numbers are pie in the sky. The books are cooked routinely year after year after year. Retired Vice Admiral Jack Shanahan commanded the Navy's second fleet the first time Donald Rumsfeld served as defense secretary. With good o financial oversight we could find $48 billion in loose change in that building without having to hit the tax Loose change. Bank. In the two and a half minutes since this report began, the Pentagon has spent nearly $2 million, and it may never know where 25% of those tax dollars went. In Los Angeles, I'm Vince Gonzalez for Eye on America. Screaming and then just an explosion. 
explosion, glass, that everybody was uh, running around trying to get away. How do you mean it's not? Uh, Bennett, B E W N E T T E. Sergeant? Uh, Sergeant? No, Secret Service. Secret Service? How do you yeah. want your title? Uh, OST. OST, thank you. All right. <laughs> And indeed it has. It seems that this was not a result of a new attack. It was because the uh, building had been weakened uh, during uh, this morning's attacks. We'll probably find out more now about that from our correspondent, Jane Stanley. Jane, what more can you tell us about the Salomon Brothers building and its collapse? Well, only really what you already know. Details are very, very sketchy. As you can see behind me, the uh, Trade Center appears to be still burning. We see these huge clouds of smoke and ash, and we know that behind that there's an empty piece of what was a very familiar New York skyline, a symbol of the financial prosperity of this city, but uh, completely disappeared now, and New York is still unable to take on board what has happened to them today. Presumably there were very few people in the Salomon building when it collapsed. I mean, th there were, I suppose, fears of possible further collapses around the area. That's what you would hope, because they don't really know where to turn. And that's the very sad thing. I think there's going to be a lot of very, very traumatized people they, that has hit them very, very hard. Jane, I think many of us, when we heard the news, perhaps on the radio earlier today, were uh, completely... F Trade Center was hit around 9 o'clock, then the North Tower. Let us never tolerate outrageous conspiracy theories concerning the attacks of September the 11th. Malicious lies that attempt to shift the blame away from the terrorists themselves, away from the guilty. ...is in which is terrorism, uh, designed to cause terror, designed to have an impact on the psychology of Americans, designed to show that the United States is vulnerable. What, what better expresses American vulnerability than to watch these two um, symbols of American commerce and government and pride at the lower end of... organized in that fashion, uh, that causes me concern. I certainly agree with what Senator McCain said about the fact that, you know, many, many years ago, uh, we abandoned human intelligence. Uh, uh, the attitude was that only bad guys have spies, and, and good guys don't need... And one pauses after you say that because, you know, it's almost unbelievable. And, and organized in that fashion, uh, that causes me concern. I certainly agree with what Senator McCain said about the fact that, you know, many, many years ago, uh, we abandoned human intelligence. Uh, uh, the attitude was that only bad guys have spies, and, and good guys don't need... This is the timeline. The South Tower of the World Trade Center was hit around 9 o'clock. Then the North Tower was hit. Air traffic in the U.S. was closed about 9.30. President Bush spoke from Florida. At that time, he's spoken since via video videotape from Louisiana. Around 10 o'clock... A plane crashed at the helicopter pad at the Pentagon, did damage, set fire to portions of the Pentagon. There have been some casualties. Any dead, we don't know. There were some injured because we saw them at the Pentagon. Then the South Tower incredibly collapsed. Uh, then the North Tower, the Twin Towers, the World Trade Center collapsed. And one pauses after you say that because... You know, and, and organized in that fashion, uh, that causes me concern. I certainly agree with what Senator McCain said about the fact that, you know, many, many years ago, uh, we abandoned human intelligence. Uh, uh, the attitude was... World Trade Center 7 had always been considered the starting point for rebuilding. Located north of the slurry wall, 7 had been cleared faster than the rest of the site, and there had been no bodies to recover. Pelted by debris when the North Tower collapsed, seven burned until late afternoon, allowing occupants to evacuate to safety. I remember getting a call from the uh, fire department commander telling me that they were not sure they were going to be able to contain the fire. I said, you know, we've had such terrible loss of life. Maybe the smartest thing to do is, is pull it. Uh, and they made that decision to pull, and then we watched the building collapse.
has provided valuable information and has helped disrupt terrorist plots, including strikes within the United States. As soon as Congress acts on this bill, the men our intelligence agencies believed helped orchestrate the 9-11 attacks can face justice. The bill would also provide clear rules for our personnel involved in detaining and questioning captured terrorists. The information that the Central Intelligence Agency has obtained by questioning men like Khalek Sheikh Mohammed has provided valuable information and has helped disrupt terrorist plots, including strikes within the United States. For example, Khalek Sheikh Mohammed described the design of planned attacks on buildings inside the U.S. and how operatives uh, were directed to carry them out. That is valuable information for those of us who have the responsibility to protect the American people. He told us the operatives have been instructed to ensure that the explosives went off at a high po a point that was high enough to prevent people trapped what? above from escaping. That the explosives went off at a high po a point that was high enough to prevent people trapped above from escaping. Gave us information that helped uncover Al Qaeda cells efforts to obtain biological weapons. We've also learned information from the CIA program that has helped stop other plots. This man made over $5 billion from those buildings' destruction 
and I want to know if there was ever a formal investigation into Larry Silverstein, the leaseholder of the World Safe Trade Center complex, and his ties to this entire event. I don't believe there's been a formal investigation. I haven't heard that. I don't know that. I do know that uh, they, that, that wall, I remember, was, was in danger, and I think that they made a decision based on the danger that it had of destroying other things, that they did it in a controlled fashion. Uh, you know, he's part of the construction, reconstruction effort for the memorial and the use of the land, et cetera. There's been a long tug of war going on in New York. I am not following every aspect of it because it's not in my jurisdiction, so to speak. But I'll check on what the story is. I'll take a look at it based on what you've said. Uh, you're the first people anywhere in the country who've called this to my attention. Well, interestingly enough, the 9-11 uh, uh, I mean, Commission report does not even address World Trade Center 7 and the fact that you know, it fell. Let me find out about it. I don't know enough about it. It's not in our book, etc.